All right. Hello, everyone. This is Paul from SpanishWithPaul.com and welcome to mini course seven. If you'd like to download the free course book for this lesson, just click the link that you see on the screen now. And I've also put another one in the description box below this video. This way you can review all the questions and answers. Now I'm going to be referring a lot to the previous courses and things that we covered. So again, make sure that you are very familiar with what we covered in those. And perhaps most importantly is to keep up this habit of pausing the video to think out your answers before you continue. This way you'll be getting the maximum value from the time that you put in to doing these lessons. So with all that said, now let's get started with mini course seven. To say we can in Spanish is podemos. We have three syllables, po, de, mos. Podemos means we can. How would you say we can do it tomorrow? Podemos hacerlo mañana. What's the verb to go out? Salir. How would you say we can go out tonight? Podemos salir esta noche. Do you remember the verb to call? Llamar. And how would you say to call him? or to call her. Llamarle. Here we have the verb llamar and the le tagged on to the end represents him or her. So the sound we get is llamarle. How would you say we can call her later? Podemos llamarle más tarde. To say we can't would be no podemos. How would you say we can't do it tomorrow? No podemos hacerlo mañana. We can't be here tomorrow. No podemos estar aquí mañana. We can't go out tonight. No podemos salir esta noche. To say we have to would be tenemos que. Again, we have three syllables. Te, ne, Mos. Tenemos que. How would you say, we have to work today? Tenemos que trabajar hoy. Do you remember from a previous mini course, the word for every day or each day? Cada día. How would you say, we have to work here every day? Tenemos que trabajar aquí cada día. We have to be here every day. Tenemos que estar aquí cada día. What's the verb to study? Estudiar. We have e estudiar. Estudiar. How would you say we have to study tonight? Tenemos que estudiar esta noche. What about this one? We can't go out tonight because we have to study.
No podemos salir esta noche porque tenemos que estudiar. How would you say we have to call him later? Tenemos que llamarle más tarde. We have to be here tomorrow. Tenemos que estar aquí mañana. How would you say we don't have to? No tenemos que. We don't have to work today. No tenemos que trabajar hoy. Let's try mixing some of them together now. How would you say, we can't do it tomorrow because we have to work? No podemos hacerlo mañana porque tenemos que trabajar. We can't be here tonight because we have to go out later. No podemos estar aquí esta noche porque tenemos que salir más tarde. To say we want in Spanish is queremos. We have que re mos. Again, three syllables. Queremos means we want. How would you say we don't want? No queremos. What's the verb to eat? Comer. How would you say we want to eat here? Queremos comer aquí. We don't want to eat here today. No queremos comer aquí hoy. The verb to have dinner or to dine is cenar. Just two syllables. Se nar. Cenar means to have dinner. How would you say we want to have dinner here tonight? Queremos cenar aquí esta noche. What's the verb to speak? Hablar. And how would you say with you? Contigo. Now try to say, we want to speak with you. Queremos hablar contigo. We don't want to speak with you now. No queremos hablar contigo ahora. So here's what we have so far. Podemos, we can. Queremos, we want. Tenemos que, we have to. Notice how they all fit together very well in a group with this hemos ending. Podemos, queremos, tenemos, just with the que added on to the end for we have to. So it makes them very easy to remember. How would you say, we can't have dinner with you tonight because we have to work.
no podemos cenar contigo esta noche porque tenemos que trabajar. In course 5, we had this expression for all day. And I wonder if you can remember what that was. Todo el día. Literally, it means all the day. Todo el día is how they express all day in Spanish. How would you say, we don't want to be here all day? No queremos estar aquí todo el día. We can't be here all day. No podemos estar aquí todo el día. One last one. We can have dinner here with you tonight. How would you say that? Podemos cenar aquí contigo esta noche. In course 5, we looked at the verb to go, and I wonder if you can remember what that was. Ir literally sounds like the English word for an ear, but obviously the spelling is very different, just I-R. So, ir means to go. How would you say, we can go now? Podemos ir ahora. We can't go now. No podemos ir ahora. The word for there in Spanish is allí. Just two syllables. We have a and then this is Ye, ye. So, allí means there. How would you say, we can go there later? Podemos ir allí más tarde. We can go there later and have dinner. Podemos ir allí más tarde y cenar. We want to go there later. Queremos ir allí más tarde. Another little word we learned in course 5 was again. Can you remember how to say that? Otra vez. Literally, it means another time. Vez means time in Spanish. So, another time, otra vez, is how they express again. How would you say, we want to go there again tomorrow? Queremos ir allí otra vez. Mañana. How would you say, we have to go? Tenemos que ir. How would you say, tomorrow we have to go there again? Mañana tenemos que ir allí otra vez. Let's practice asking some questions now. First of all, a statement. How would you say, we have to go? Tenemos que ir. Now, how would you ask that as a question? Do we have to go? Tenemos que ir. In Spanish, it's the same sentence. You just 
use the inflection of your voice to indicate that you're asking a question. So we have tenemos que ir statement. We have to go. But tenemos que ir. Now this is a question. Do we have to go? Let's try some more. How would you say we can go again? Podemos ir otra vez. Now let's ask that as a question. Can we go again? Podemos ir otra vez? How would you say we have to go every day? Tenemos que ir cada día. Now let's ask, do we have to go every day? Tenemos que ir cada día? How would you say, do we have to be here every day? Tenemos que estar aquí cada día? In a previous mini course, we learned how to express I would like. And I wonder if you can remember how to say that. Me gustaría. Literally, it means to me, it would be pleasing. Me gustaría. How would you say I would like to know? Me gustaría saber. Now look at this sentence. We have, I would like to know if we can go there later today. In English, this sounds very natural. However, in Spanish, we have to make one small change in order for it to sound natural in that language, which is this word today. So the direct translation would be, I would like to know if today we can go there later. Doesn't quite sound natural in English, but this is how it would sound most natural in Spanish. So how would you say that? I would like to know if today we can go there later. Me gustaría saber Si hoy podemos ir allí más tarde. Here's another example for you. I would like to know if we have to work all day tomorrow. Once again, what would happen in Spanish is this tomorrow would be put after the if. So what we would get is, I would like to know if tomorrow we have to work all day. How would you say that? Me gustaría saber si mañana tenemos que trabajar todo el día. How would you say if it's possible? Si es posible. We want to know if today it's possible to do it again. Queremos saber si hoy es posible hacerlo otra vez. We want to know if tomorrow it's possible to go there. Queremos saber si mañana es posible ir allí. Otra vez. I would like to know if tomorrow it's possible to call her again. Me gustaría saber si mañana es posible llamarle otra vez. 
As you can see, sometimes we have to make small changes in the word order in order to have our Spanish sound as natural as possible. So what's happening here is that with these words of tomorrow or today or later, in English they sound most natural at the end. We want to know if it's possible to see you again tomorrow. But in Spanish, what we're doing is putting those words after if. So it becomes we want to know if tomorrow it's possible to see you again. Now, there are plenty of examples of this pattern at work. So let's go to this one. We want to know if tomorrow it's possible to go there. Or we want to know if today it's possible to do it again. You can see how the word tomorrow, today, later is coming after the word if. Now, if you did not do that, you would still be perfectly understood in Spanish, but it would sound a little bit forced. By putting it after if, so we get queremos saber si hoy es posible hacerlo otra vez. Now your Spanish sounds completely natural with that adjusted word order. How would you say what happened in Spanish? This is from course four. ¿Qué pasó? And how would you say last night? Anoche. Now try to say, we want to know what happened last night. Queremos saber qué pasó anoche. We don't want to know what happened last night. No queremos saber qué pasó anoche. How would you say this one? We want to know if it's possible to have dinner again with you tomorrow. Remember to be careful with the word order. Here's the answer for you. Queremos saber si mañana es posible cenar otra vez contigo. Let's run through what we have now. How would you say we can? Podemos. We can't. No podemos. We want. Queremos. We don't want. No queremos. We have to. Tenemos que. We don't have to. No tenemos que. Once again, how would you say I would like? Me gustaría. Now how would you say he, she or it would like? Le gustaría. The le here stands for to him, to her or to it. It would be pleasing. How would you say this one? She would like to know if we can do it tomorrow. The C here is to be careful with the word order, particularly here. Le gustaría saber si mañana podemos hacerlo. Here we have tomorrow placed after the word if in order to have our Spanish sound as natural as possible. How would you say this one? He would like to know if we can call him later. Again, be careful.
le gustaría saber si más tarde podemos llamarle. How do you say with her? Con ella. Now try to say, she would like to know if we can go there with her. Le gustaría saber si podemos ir allí con ella. Try this one. She would like to know if we can go there with her tomorrow. Be careful here. Le gustaría saber si mañana podemos ir allí con ella. Here again, you put tomorrow after the word if. These are habits which will become second nature the more you practice them. Do you remember the word for everyone from the last mini course? Todo el mundo. Literally, all the world. How would you say everyone wants? Todo el mundo quiere. Now, how would you say everyone wants to know why we have to go there again tomorrow? Todo el mundo Quiere saber por qué tenemos que ir allí mañana. What's the word for someone? Alguien. How would you say someone has to? Alguien tiene que. Now try to say someone has to call her now because we can't do it tomorrow. Alguien tiene que llamarle ahora porque no podemos hacerlo mañana. How do you say it's urgent? Es urgente. It's urgent, and we have to speak with him now. Es urgente, y tenemos que hablar con él ahora. How would you say, it's not urgent? No es urgente. It's not urgent, and we can do it tomorrow. No es urgente y podemos hacerlo mañana. The word for so in Spanish, there are a few choices, but we're going to go with entonces. We have en entonces. Entonces means so. How would you say it's not urgent so we can do it tomorrow? No es urgente. Entonces, podemos hacerlo mañana. Do you remember the verb to discover or to find out? Descubrir. Here we have that sound of descu, descu. How would you say we want to find out? Queremos descubrir. How do you say the reason why? El por qué. Now try to say, later, we want to talk with him and find out the reason why. Más tarde, queremos 
hablar con él y descubrir el por qué. What about this one? Later, we want to talk with him and find out if everyone has to be here tomorrow. Be careful with your word placement. Más tarde, queremos hablar con él y descubrir si mañana todo el mundo tiene que estar aquí. Let's do a live translation to reinforce all of that. First of all, we have the word later, which is más tarde. Then we have we want, which is queremos. To talk, the verb is hablar. And with him, con él. The word for and is y. Then the verb to find out is descubrir. If, the word is si. Now we have everyone, todo el mundo, has to, or has, this is tiene que. The verb to be is estar. The word for here is aquí. And then tomorrow, the natural placement for it is after the word if. So we'll get rid of all of this and put it after the word if. And we have our translation. Más tarde, queremos hablar con él y descubrir si mañana todo el mundo tiene que estar aquí. Once again, we just build it up with one block placed on top of the other. So a big congratulations once again on finishing mini course number seven. I'm sure that for many of you, your Spanish has improved quite dramatically since we started the series. If you'd like to take the plunge and dive in all the way into full conversational fluency in Spanish, my main course is available for you now. I've put a link on the screen to it and also another one in the description box below the video. You'll find that it has the exact same teaching style and easy learning curve that you're used to now with these mini courses. And of course you get one-to-one -one access to me so I can help you through it personally. So I look forward to helping you improve your Spanish there and I'll see you all in the next video. Mm -hmm.